this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for Scrapless Sunday where Laura and I are using this sketch or this layout or the other one that we did two weeks ago. So I did a bunch of hand stitching um, like Laura and um, no, I, I'm not even sure how to say it. I will link her down below. I don't want to um, butcher it at all, but um, so I decided to find this p piece of paper from the Bulla Bellevard um, collection. It's the Cooper collection because if you have not followed me on social media, you should because I have been doing my Insta stories and um, other things like that and we got a puppy on Sunday on Father's Day which is the 21st here in the states if you um if you're not sh sure when that is. So, on the 21st, we were able to like officially adopt because that was also the date that I registered him as well from the breeder. So, the breeder put him on that day and then I registered Mr. Asher over to our over into our name. Now, Mr. Or Cooper's collection is from Bella Boulevard, and I found this paper right here that had a bunch of clouds. And so what I decided to do was poke some holes and make the, some of the clouds stick out just a little bit more for this collection. So that's kind of how I... Um, took the inspiration from that particular one and then I did do up uh, now I didn't do exactly how Laura did hers last week and how um, she did hers where she kind of kept the stitching in the inside and then did ephemera on the outside for me I kind of nestled the ephemera within the stitching but it's still I did do a bunch of the layerings that she did and I just love how this one turned out. Now I didn't do it like in a circle or like a heart shape like she did or in the zigzags like um, Laura did in hers two weeks ago, but I did more of, I want to say more of like the whimsical style and kind of had the clouds like floating and then by the time you saw me put everything together, it all matched up really well. So we are at... Oh, what day are we on? So it when I am doing this voiceover, it's Thursday. So we are on day five of having the little pup. And um, we have been potty training him because obviously he's an inside dog. He is a miniature um, schnauzer. And so he will only get between 21 or, tw uh, nine, or 12 pounds to 20 pounds, I should say, of a puppy. So he is a tiny little tyke. Now, my breeder, I was letting her know that I'm like, hey, I do a bunch of um, scrapbooking. And I was like, hey, can you send me pictures of Asher of like when he was um, born, you know, like when he took those very first photos. And then she's like, yeah, do you want some in between? I was like, yeah, that would be great. And then um, obviously when I got them, um, I took a bunch of pictures of when we first got him um, at the house and then we found through a friend of mine found um, some flowers here out at Fort Gordon and then we went and took those so kind of he got those finally like those official like yep you are my pup and get ready to be you know fully overblown of pictures and all of that stuff he's also gotten his first bath since we've had him and I've got those photos I just posted those up today um, but, uh, which is on Thursday, this is when I'm doing the voiceover. So I am, I'm chatting with, um, Fran just to give you a, a heads up. So if you see my hands kind of be bopping around, that's why. Um, I am doing up all my layering like I love to do. And then I use this very last paper to like tie it all together and then you will see me come in with all of the goodies that I absolutely love um, about this collection. Now, would I have ever thought in a million years that I would be buying puppy paper? No. Have I thought in a million years that I would have a puppy in general? No. Did Josh break me? Yes. 
And um, he laughs about it because he's like, I knew I could get you to do this. And I was like, no, you just like kind of, I call, I tell him, I'm like, you forced my hand because you're wanting a certain puppy and I'm not allowing you to have it. So you're like, oh, well, you can go pick your own. And so I was actually searching from the, April, the, mid, the end of April till May 15th is when I placed the $200 deposit on this little guy. So he is a registered um, puppy and his parents are registered as well. They are actually, the breeder is on um, Facebook with me. And so she gets to see all of the fun, good, loving, you know, this, that, and the other papers on there and all of the fun um, Insta stories and Facebook stories and all of that stuff. So I'm just going through all of this now. I do take a little bit of time and kind of show you a little bits of this because this is somewhat new to me. So I just was going through some of the sayings. Um, and I think this is one of the newer collections anyway for if you do have, if you are um, a pup owner or a... Um, ooh, I like that, and I never thought to leave that there um, because that moves, but I do like where that um, little heart and it's a baby right there. Um, I do have another... Um, things like that. So we'll see um, how this are like where I decide to use that. I think what I'm going to do is use the it's the baby and go from um, and do another layout in the like in the um, I would say probably in the traveler's notebook that I'm going to use for him. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, my daughter needed something and I had to quickly turn it off because I could hear her in the background downstairs and with the puppy and stuff at this point, who knows? Because he is here. So I am now taking all these little bits and pieces and I'm like, that one says handsome. That one says, look at what I got. I don't use the baby one for right now, but I got out the treat box and... All that, that's where I put that piece. I could not for the life of me, like I struggled making this little bit in that little cluster in the corner because for some goofy reason, I thought it was supposed to tuck behind that one, but not that way. And I couldn't remember how I had it there because I moved them. Oh man. Um, but anyway, so here I am. I'm just placing down these, all these little bits. Make sure that you go check out Laura because Laura is going to do the one that I did last week. So I can't wait to see what hers looks like because I really love doing, excuse me, that, uh, geometric. <coughs> <coughs> so sorry. Excuse me. Um, so I am just using my pewter color just to give it a little bit of something else along with this, um, just to add a little bit. Now this color is more of the brown tones and that style, but I didn't mind adding the gray to it because it actually turned out good, um, to give that little bit of contrast, um, to this because the puppy is black. So Asher is almost completely black except for on his um, eyelashes right around where his eyes are at and then all four of his paws. It's the silver color. So he's black and silver but just a little bit. So he's almost black. See this is where I moved these little guys and for some reason I could not remember how I placed that little um, saying that says my dog. And you see me putzing with it and I was like, man, I cannot figure out why I can't get this to work right. So I'm trying to tuck that in there and it's not working. It's not working. So then I cut that thing off and I'm like, I don't know what I was thinking. And then I tried to tuck it in there and I was like, why is this not working? And then finally I just get it and call it a day. Um, and then I did go puppers, but, um, I call them puppers and I thought it was kind of cute and a little bit of historically funny 
because I'm like, oh, there's a thing that people actually do call their puppy puppers. I didn't know that. Again, this is all like, this is all brand new to me. I'm not a, by all means, a uh, puppy person. Like, I'm still getting used to the fact that he licks me all the time and it's just, it, I'm just like, it's just not me. But since he's um, hyper, hyper, um, like, allergy he doesn't shed for me and because I have such bad allergies the way it is that this he works really 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 good for me and um all that so I'm getting um so I'm getting used to it and then um uh, also at the same time Josh and Kaylin are just ecstatic about this like they are just like I've I mean I knew that they were always going to love the puppy do not get me wrong but I'm like, I'm telling you, like, this is, like, the best. So, I did come in, and I'm not sure where these enamel dots came from. I know that they're Pink Fresh Studios, just because of the way they are. But don't, I, don't ask me where they came from. But it matches, because the puffy stickers for Bella Boulevard, for this collection, was still on um, pre-order. And I wanted to make sure that I was able to... Um, get this in and make some layouts with the pictures that I did have of Asher. And make sure that you go check out every, um, check out everything. Everything will be linked down below. Also, if you are new to my channel, I would love, love, love to have you as a subscriber. It would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, I make 12 by 12 layouts, design team layouts, and um, traveler's notebooks. I hope that you all are staying safe. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.